Hello my dear brothers and sisters, welcome everyone to another video. Psalm 56, attributed to King David, is a poignant testimony of faith, courage and unshakable trust in God, even in the face of adverse situations and constant threats. This psalm, imbued with deep emotions, reveals human vulnerability in contrast to divine strength. The psalmist's narrative, permeated by an atmosphere of imminent danger, resonates through the ages, offering comfort and inspiration to those facing similar challenges. The psalm begins with a touching appeal to divine mercy, highlighting the urgency and intensity of the situation experienced by the psalmist. Have mercy on me, O God, is the opening plea, indicating a soul crying out for help in the midst of an intense battle. The opening words convey the anguish of someone who feels surrounded by enemies, yearning for protection in a moment of vulnerability. The metaphor of devouring suggests not only a physical opposition, but also an attack on the very essence of the person. The opening verses paint a picture of persistent hostility, where adversaries not only seek to harm physically but also to destabilize emotionally and spiritually. This image creates a universal connection, as everyone, at some point, can relate to the feeling of being consumed by life's difficulties. The psalmist's trust in God, however, shines in verse 3, In whatever time I fear, I will trust in you. This statement encapsulates the essence of the message of Psalm 56, the ability to trust God regardless of circumstances. This confidence transcends fear, offering a beacon of hope in the midst of darkness. Throughout the psalm, David highlights the malevolence of those around him, who twist his words and conspire to harm him. The vivid description of these betrayals reflects not only the psalmist's personal experience, but also resonates with the universality of the injustices and disappointments faced by many throughout their lives. The promise of deliverance and divine protection permeates the psalm, revealing a deep conviction in God's sovereignty and faithfulness. The psalmist recognizes that the true source of security is in God, and not in external circumstances. The conclusion of Psalm 56 radiates gratitude and praise, demonstrating a response of faith to divine intervention, and a renewed dedication to fulfilling vows made to the Lord. Ultimately, Psalm 56 transcends its historical context, becoming a timeless expression of the human spiritual journey. Through the psalmist's words, we are invited to reflect on our own trust in God during times of adversity, inspiring us to face challenges with the same courage and faith that permeates this poetic psalm. Let's now reflect on Psalm 56, and then we will pray our Father Amen. Have mercy on me, O God, for men want to devour me. Fight constantly, those who oppress me step on me. Those who want to devour me all day long. For there are many who fight against me, O Most High. Anytime I fear. I will trust you. In God I will praise his word. I have put my trust in God and will not fear. What can flesh do to me? Every day they twist my words. All your thoughts are against me for evil. They gather together, hide, spy on my steps. Because they await my soul. Shall they escape for their iniquities? O oh God, overthrow these people in your furious indignations. You told my afflictions, put my tears in your bottle. Are they not in your book? When I cry out to you, then my enemies will turn back. This I know, for God is for me. In God I will praise his word. 
In the Lord I will praise his word. In God I have put my trust, I will not fear what man can do to me. Your vows are upon me, O God. To you we will give praise. For you delivered my soul from death, you did not save my feet from falling. To walk before God in the light of the living. Lord, my God and Father, I ask you to bless each of these people, to protect them and free them from all evil. Grant them comfort in their hearts, remove all fear, weakness, hurt, anxiety and depression. Free, rescue them. From all the enemy's traps, Lord, and heal those who are sick, whether in hospital beds or in other places. Visit them by your power. My God and Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, we approach you at this time, crying out for your divine intervention and blessing upon all the hearts that have taken the time to contemplate the sacred words of this psalm. You are the God who heals wounds, who protects and blesses his children, and we trust in your mercy and love in this special time. Lord, look tenderly on each person who heard this psalm, knowing the joys and pains that reside in their hearts. We ask, Father, that you heal all emotional, physical, and spiritual wounds that may exist. You are the great doctor, capable of restoring and renewing. May hope flourish and peace overflow like a river, flooding every area of need. In your sovereign hands, we place the protection of all those who were here, Father. We know that we live in a world full of challenges, but we trust that your protective hand is upon us. Send your angels to surround and guard each person, warding off all evil and freeing them from all the snares of the enemy. May the presence of the Holy Spirit be felt as an inviolable fortress. Lord, in your infinite love, abundantly bless those who, with sincerity, sought your presence at this moment. Grant dreams of prosperity, not only material but also spiritual and emotional. May each home be permeated by your grace, providing a life of quality and meaning for the families represented here. In the name of the Lord Jesus, whose sacrifice reconciled us to you, we lift up this prayer. May she be like sweet incense before your throne. Beloved Heavenly Father, in humility and reverence, entering into your sovereign presence, reconnoitering your majesty and power. Lord, I pray that your divine anointing may flow abundantly upon every person who is present in this sacred moment of reflection and adoration. Renew, O Lord, the spiritual life of each one of them. May the Chama de Fe burn more intensely, illuminating your hearts with the knowledge of your word. Train yourselves, Pi, to be powerful instruments in yours, raising the light of the gospel to all who are lost and needy. Grant wisdom, O Deus, to each one of your children who seeks to follow your paths may they be guided by the Holy Spirit in every decision and that your will prevail in all areas of their lives. Lord, extend your mouths of healing to those who face illnesses. It was done in a hospital bed, touching its restorative power. May your glory be manifested through miraculous cures, so that the testimony of your goodness may be proclaimed. Rebuke, O God, every evil mushroom that is launched against the families represented here. May the peace of the Lord surround the lands and may harmony reign, destroying any work of others. Liberate, Pi, those who face family challenges, guiding them with your loving mouth. Lord Jesus, I thank you for hearing this prayer and for being alive in the lives that I heard. Continue to work in every heart, strengthening faith, renewing hope and showering blessings in measure. Lord, first of all, 
I humbly ask that you bless this month of December, the last of the year. I pray that you make the dreams of each of your children who walk this world come true. Pour your blessing upon each life, granting each one what they desire in the most intimate of their hearts. May, as we close this year, we be able to witness dreams come true, the fruits of your kindness and providence. Look, Lord, at the desires and hopes placed before you and, in your infinite wisdom, make them flourish as fulfilled promises. I hope, Lord, that 2024 will be a year full of blessings and achievements for each of your children. May they experience your grace abundantly, may challenges become opportunities for growth and may each tear be wiped away by the joy of your presence. May the peace that passes all understanding permeate their lives and may your light guide their every step throughout the new year. May goals be achieved, relationships strengthened and, above all, your will be manifested in every aspect of their lives. May this be a year in which faith is renewed, hearts are filled with gratitude and trust in you deepens even further. Bless, Lord, each person who reads these words, guiding them with your loving hand and surrounding them with your incomparable grace. In the precious name of Jesus, I pray. Amen. Our Father in heaven, blessed be your name. Your kingdom eats. Thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread. Forgive us our debts. Just as we also forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation. But deliver us from evil. For yours is the kingdom, the power, the honor and the glory, today, tomorrow and forever. Amen. Glory to God. As we delve deeper into the words of Psalm 56, we are taken on an intimate journey of trust and dependence on God in the midst of life's challenges. This sacred poem, though born of David's specific experiences, transcends the centuries, becoming a beacon of hope for all who seek comfort and direction in the scriptures. Psalm 56 reminds us that, amid the storms of existence, trust in God is the sure foundation on which we can build our lives. Regardless of the adversities that surround us, the promise of divine mercy resonates like a constant echo, inviting us to lay our fears and worries at the feet of Him who is able to sustain us. The central message of trust in God, proclaimed by the psalmist, resonates in our own lives. Just as He cried out for mercy, we can also lift our hearts in prayer, knowing that we have a God who hears, understands, and responds at the right time. This trust is not based on our own strength, but on the Creator's unchanging faithfulness. As we come to the end of this psalm, we are enveloped in an atmosphere of praise and gratitude. David's words not only express his deliverance from the clutches of adversity, but also resonate as a melody of thanksgiving to God, the one worthy of all praise. This is an invitation for each of us to reflect on the many ways in which God has sustained and delivered us throughout our lives. In response to this wonderful divine intervention, we are inspired to fulfill our vows to the Lord, to give thanks to Him, and to proclaim His greatness. After all, the God who protected David is the same God who walks with us on our own journeys, guiding us with love and grace. In this spirit of celebration and adoration, I want to invite each brother and sister who is following this reflection to join in spiritual communion. If this psalm resonates with your hearts, be encouraged to share your own experiences of trusting God in the comments below. Let's create a space of support and inspiration reminding each other of the faithfulness of the one who is the same yesterday, 
today and forever. Additionally, I would like to invite you to subscribe to the channel, where we will continue exploring the riches of God's Word, strengthening each other on our spiritual journey. May the peace of God, which surpasses all understanding, be with each of you, and may trust in the Lord be your firm foundation in all seasons of life. Amen.